So, hey guys, Chauza here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Super Tandem UI, uh, in particular, the dots that can appear when you run multiple su Super Tandem characters. Like this is an easy example. We got Luffy, Sora and Sanji who have a red dot and Kaido, King and Queen have a purple dot. Basically, these dots symbolize the different routes you can take for Super Tandem. And if you push the launch effect button, you get up the Super Tandem activation effect. And here we see we got one route, which is the Luffy route, where you need it with Luffy, Zoro and Sanji. And if you scroll down, we get to the next route, which is the Kaido route where you have Kaido, King and Queen, and the unit who can activate Super Tandem, in this case Kaido has the Tandem mark, the one with the Super Tandem. So yeah. And if you try and combine route, nothing will happen, which is pretty obvious in this example. Like if we attack here with Queen, then Sanji, then Luffy, yeah. That's not a route, so nothing happens. So let's go into a different example. In this example, we got the level one Luffy friend captain and the level four Luffy captain. So these have different requirements. That's why you see like Sora and Sanji have two dots. One of Luffy has a red dot, the other has a purple dot. And then the wife unit and the shop user unit has a red dot. Let's look at the activation requirements like level four. Uh, level 4 can you activate with everybody except for the other Luffy. So you can use Zoro and Sanji. Or you can use Zoro and the wives or Sanji and Usopp Chopper. You do need one of Zoro and Sanji though. Like there's a lot to keep in mind. But you got a lot of options to have to build your super tandem chain. If we move down though to the level 1. It's not as... It's pretty straightforward there since at the lower levels you have no options. You have to use Luffy, Luffy Sora and Sanji and they also have a lower effect. This is why level 4 is like the key level to reach because that's when you get more options and the buffs you get from Super Tandem are also like basically finished. The level 5 buff is small for Luffy at least, a bit bigger for Kaido but not that impactful. So yeah, let's see when we combine routes, we're going to start with the friend Captain Luffy, who is level 1. And we're going to hit with the wives and Usopp Chopper and then, yeah, nothing will happen. Like, hitting with wives and Usopp Chopper isn't, it will never work with the Kitana when I think about it. But yeah, as you can see, there are different routes anyway. So for that friend Captain Luffy, I need to hit with Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, for example. Anyway, let's move into Kaido. As you see here, there's only one dot. So it looks like, okay, it works with any units, no matter what you do. But yeah, this route is actually a bit more complex because friend captain is level one, captain is level four. And the friend captain actually can't activate here, only the captain, if we look down. It's just that the friend captain can be part of the captain's super tandem because Kaido can make use of one striker in his super tandem. So you can use Kaido, X-Drake and the other Kaido, or Kaido, X-Drake and Nami. So despite only being one dot, there are actually like two routes you can take, and the friend captain can't exclude the other captain, only the, friend, only the captain can make use of the super tandem. So yeah, it's a, a, a bit of a weird example, but that's what happens when you have different levels of requirements and like a, a class is part of a requirement. It's a pretty weird example, but let's mix this up. We keep level 1 and level 4 Kaido, but now we add King to the team. And as you see now, now the captain that is level 4 only has one dot. This is because he can go any route here. He can use Kaido and the other Kaido and King, and Kaido and the other can do X Drake. He can do anything. But the other Kaido has a very strict requirement. He can't use the Captain Kaido, but he can use Kaido, King, X Drake. So here we see level four. As said, 
The Skyrus were a versatile here. He can hit in any order he wants since we only have four units. He can do Kaido Kaido King, Kaido X Drake King, Kaido Kaido X Drake, for example. Like any order works with the, this combination. But for level two, you can't make use of the Captain Kaido because level two doesn't have the striker requirement added. So you, if you hit with Kaido, the other Kaido, it isn't part of the chain. So it only works when you hit the friend Captain Kaido, X Drake, and King. So yeah, I hope this doesn't make things more complicated than it should be. Overall, I think the UI is very good, even if it might be a bit cluttered sometimes. But just, you just need to be aware before the battle what the routes you have. And then you have the in-game to double check in case something doesn't make sense to you. Or if you've misunderstood something, there's a lot of info to look at inside. Remember to check the dots. Check the launch effects with Super Tandem and you'll get the info you want. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.